Summer Jam and ECT for Soul Calibur 6 in 2022. Yeah, it's definitely an old versus new. Man, I remember when Lolo was on the new Looks school like team trouble. at NEC 2009, I think it was. It's a shame <laughs> to, to think about what it is like now. But okay, this is kind of the character matchup that we had initially expected. Both of these players play a variety of different characters. I wouldn't be entirely surprised if we see them jumping from character to character, depending on uh, what they decide to do for the rest of this set. But I guess there's also a chance that they just stick with their tried-and-true mains, uh, the entire time. Uh, yeah, I really I can't say, tell. I would say Incendiate would be more likely to switch having one Evo with uh, Ivy, uh, switching at the very end. But, yeah, just uh, for the grand final set, yeah. Yeah, but these are probably who their mains are at this point in time. Yeah, I think uh, in the tournament that we saw Lolo in uh, just a week or two ago, we ended up oh! seeing... Ooh, fantastic lethal hit catch. Definitely fully prepared. There are a handful of things that Zhang Hua has that are specifically great at dealing with Lolo stances, or Yoshi Mix uh, also has that crouch grab for some of the meditation cancels as well. So there's a lot of stuff that Lolo has to watch out for, but he is playing the character that, especially with on a stage like this, has significantly scarier ringouts, significantly scarier wall combos. So we'll see if that comes into play, or if Incendia is able to just keep it locked down with just neutral gameplay the whole time. I have heard this stage, among possibly a couple others, referred to as Yoshi's Island. Yeah, there's, the, uh, there's quite a few of them. This one, because the distance between the railings is really tiny. It's, it's probably one of the narrowest stages in the game. Yeah, it has to be, right? Again, getting using that flip kick, beating him out, I think that was the high spin. I can't tell the difference between them. <laughs> it's very typical. Okay, it, you know, with all the things that I said about Yoshi... Ha oh, I think that's it. He's out of the ring, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shark Attack is going to do it. But yeah, real tough stage to deal with. So I would imagine uh, Incendiate is very happy with the idea of switching constantly. Even though Yoshi has significantly scarier wall combos than shang -Hua does, uh, probably. Or at least much better time getting those wall combos. shang -Hua really doesn't slack uh, in that regard anywhere near as much as I would say the disparity is between the ring out pressure. So probably a smaller stage that mitigates Yoshi's good backdash would be the way that Incendi wants the stage to go. Either that or maybe like the castle stage, which is honestly probably Yoshi's worst stage. Now a stage like this is not probably what he wanted. Got the desert. Yeah, I don't so there's know. There's gonna so be ring outs everywhere, but it's bigger. So he'll have a little a bit, bit more room to move around. He is yeah, staying at this stuff. range. It's a very nice sidestep punish. Looks like both players have decided to take it much more slowly than I guess I kind of would have expected. Just kind of going back and forth trading blows, but obviously the problem is that when you're coming to trading blows, once Yoshi gets meter, that goes heavily out of his favor. Now see, he doesn't have meter for the reverse ring out there, so he's okay. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Very incendiate needs to be careful. Uh, if he's, it seems like Lolo, if he finds himself disadvantaged, is very comfortable leaving his back to the ring edge. Going for oh, that flip no! kick again. Nice dodge. She was the super tech crouch into the side step. That was crazy. Well, if he's using the flip kick to catch uh, yeah. the, the helicopter, he used it to catch the high, and then transitioning into the side step evasion thing. Not nice AA interrupt. Yeah, Lolo isn't necessarily getting a lot of damage out of, like, small stance-related uh, pressure and mix-ups. That's It really seems like Insaniate's 100% prepared for that sort of thing. Not a get on the minus... No, but that minus is minus 10, 12. Minus 10, 10, 10, oh, it's minus 10. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I made the same mistake that Insaniate did. Trades. Lolo taking soul charge. Got good stage <laughs> pressure. Incendiate got in somehow. God, it's so difficult to deal with Yoshi Soul Charge when this happens. You basically yeah. just have to eat a bunch of like small pokes into an I-10 AA. Very good catch-up from Lolo there. But yeah, it really seems like when Lolo is winning, it's not necessarily off of stances. Uh, obviously, off of Soul Charge, it's easy for most characters to try and get a lot of stuff, but he tends to get hits in neutral, stuff like this. He ducked the high kick, though, and now he's uh, got him down to half-life already. Kick, spinny... Oh man, not breaking any of these grabs. Dead to the mix. 
Yeah, that's not gonna be a punish either. And Senye just having Looks a tough time with the, the block punishment here. Can't really rely on like the ring out game the same way. Right. Loses the round. It really seems like he's 100% prepared for like the stance mix and everything. Everything else is kind of going low as well. Immediately packing all the way up, and you know what he's going for. Oh, that was going to be a wall rising AA. Nice GI breaks the rainbow drop. Had to. All right, I'm thinking. Oh, it is oh! it, man. These stages. No, it's not. He doesn't no, have enough no. meter to finish out the rest of the combo. Oh man, this is such a scary tense situation right now. Okay, gets that hit. It's not going to be it just yet. Blocks the stance mix, but tries to go for a wall rising AA. Gets wow. the grab. Boy, howdy. That w and that's terrifying. Imagine he went for that the same moment that Lolo was going for a 2-2-B. It could have easily been Lolo's second game immediately. Yeah, I mean, I think one high and you're out of the ring. Like, yeah, a... I sidestep on the tiger. <laughs> tiger. <laughs> oh, that is not what he wanted. How did he get a block off of that Twice. after the equal speed whiffed? Incendiate with the AA interrupt. Soul charging out of the kick. I really like this. this is a very smart decision. He is flush with meter. Lolo's gonna do that thing that he did before. Oh! I, I appreciate Incendiate walking back. Just trying to make sure that he do oh, That uh, was so that... scary. That 2-2-B hit. That was Will it. Will kill? Oh yeah, it's go. I'm gonna say yes. No, it did not kill! That did. And send it on the board, that's 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, that's 1-1, one, one. but again, I think it's important to note just, like, how often that was such a scary situation for Incendiate. I mean, Lolo decidedly, appointedly moving back to the ring edge every single time, right? And there were about two or three instances where he either respected 2-2-B and he was right, or he disrespected 2-2-B and he was right, just based on the counter hit timing, and he was able to get everything that he had hoped for. Lolo, just being right, even just by one or two frames, it could have easily gone his way. So now we're going to about yeah. as opposite of a stage as humanly possible. All walls Yeah, this, this is time. good for Incendiate, definitely. Yeah, it is definitely possible that we're going to see an overwhelming amount of wall pressure on Lolo's side, but he is going to have to switch up how he's been playing. He'd have to play more aggressively, which is kind of what we're seeing here. We're seeing a significantly more aggressive approach here, as opposed to the defensive move-back kind of approach that we were seeing before. He's, he's countering the, that with the jump wow. kick. So he blocked the one, and now he's just throwing out jump kick, explaining... He's throwing out jump kick, expecting him to keep going for it. Nice back sway from Ooh, nice punish. I think Yoshi might be one of the few characters that can actually punish Shanghua 3B from like all ranges. Doing a Jungle lot of avoiding the puddle too. Whew, threading the needle too. This is all Lola right now. I think that's close to dead, but not dead just yet. Oh, yeah, no but he's got the momentum. That's all he needs. Doing really good blocking the lows, anticipating the lows, using that jump kick. Remember when we said the stage was, like, good for Incendiate? Yeah, it still what is. Happened? I mean, you could lose yeah. on a good stage. On paper, yeah. Oh, man. Again, got I'm, the A plus B. I'm really surprised that Incendiate goes for, like, you know, the Great Wall mix as, like, a frame trap against I-10 characters. I feel like it's not particularly useful in a matchup like this. Okay. <laughs> Just slamming through. Continuing to slam through. GI's not so much. Gets a yellow guard gauge on top of losing his first round, so Incendiate's still in it. That's a lot of meter that Lolo's gonna be able to utilize in the meantime, though. Yeah, Incendiate still has a bar, though. I also All gotta right. mention, Lolo's execution looking kinda sus. Oh, oh man, he what? almost came close to it, but instead he will take over half-life. Reset! Oh, man. Ducked under a single A. And gets him to the point where it's a mix-up for death. Yeah, he ends up guessing wrong. Boy, oh boy. That was very fast. It's cra It's kind of crazy how drastically different Lolo plays, depending on the stage. I think it's pretty impressive. Yeah. he, he When he's got the option for the ring out, he generally seems to be lining himself up kind of when he feels... I don't know, threatened or behind, or the one time when he did, he just backed up to the ring edge when Incendiate took Soul Charge, versus in a stage like this, uh, patient, but also a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, like, willing to push him forwards rather than uh, lean back. Yeah, a lot of different uh, tactics in terms of 
which buttons are being pressed. You basically saw no 2-2-Bs that entire time. No real front right. crouch launchers. Instead, you saw a lot of, like, 4-K-Bs and uh, the jump kick instead. Uh, now, yeah. boy, oh boy, we're really running the gambit on all kinds of different stages now. Now, are ringouts a potential for this round? Yes. I just don't know if Lolo is going to be able to back up to such a degree to where he can get a reverse ring out as consistently as you would on the desert stage. This stage is about as big, I think it's the biggest stage uh, that we have in the game. Going for the launcher, nice punish. Yeah, that's safe, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I mean, teeny tiny pokes over and over again. Nobody's really gotten a fantastic hit yet. That's probably the one that comes the closest. Nice crybaby to get out of the Oki. Gets the punish on the 4k, I think. Oh boy! That was a mix and a half. He he baited the full crouch 3a block like 15 times in a row, then goes for the grab. Then gets run up and then, GI and, it, and it that, 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 off that anyway. was intentional. Um, that was a crybaby read. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, okay. oh yeah. interesting! Tried to GI the crybaby. Oh, this is what he was looking for this whole time. We've got to see that lethal hit in the first game. The first game didn't actually go very well for Incendia, but it did kind of prove that he uh, definitely had a fantastic amount of stance pressure reverse mixes. So the question is, do you go over there and potentially, like, you know, just let him stay over there to get a whole bunch of meter? I guess we're not going to have to see right now, but this is always the really scary thing about a character like Yoshimitsu on a stage like this. You can't necessarily just leave him be uh, at the ring. He's I just going to build, like, full up. bar. That scales up, I think, the more he does it, like, yeah. more fast. Now, Shana Hua, if left to her own devices, can also build a nice lot of meter kick. very quickly, but I don't think as quickly. Lolo doing the jump kick to interrupt the stance. Nice sidestep launch. I feel like you can definitely tell these guys have at least thought about playing each other quite a lot, because yeah. some of these mixes are not what you would expect from two people who are, like, just getting used to each other, you know what I mean? They really went to, like, Yomi level 2 or 3 right away. I was thinking the same thing that it's like they've thought about the matchup or they've they're doing things that are like like the use of the jump kick for spacing versus yeah. the uh, I don't know what the, the the rising thing that lethal hits on helicopters like yeah the full crouch 3k yeah I mean I, I'm aware that Incendiate has quite an extensive amount of Yoshi Mitsu experience I mean Yoshi is yeah. one of the more popular characters so like it's, it's, it's pretty difficult not to get Yoshi experience at this point. I'm not sure who Lolo gets uh, Zhang Hua experience from. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a 2-2-B. Two, two I don't know so much about a 6 b Yeah. It's a good punish, though. Uh, the answer to your question, by the way, Kay, is that um, they played a lot. So. Ah, okay, so there you go. Yeah. The other Zhang Hua player. <laughs> Ooh, gets oh, interrupts him out of the, uh, out of the stance. Wow. <laughs> goes for the flip kick and he's too high up. Pretty solid punish. Are we gonna see him spend Soul Charge here? You kind of see it, or is he gonna try and like keep it for a CE? Probably or is he just gonna go absolutely insane the whole time? Okay, he tried to go for a 2-2-B, the first 2-2-B of the set. Boy, we haven't really seen Incendia use 2-2-B like at all, have we? Which is kind of crazy from a Shang Wa player. Yeah. Especially, I mean, even Incendia himself tends yeah, to yeah. use it a fair amount. I would say an unfair amount, to be honest. <laughs> Unreasonable amount. Pushing into BB, a lot of BB, soul charging now. Yeah, we can definitely tell that the uh, the double bar lethal hits for some Immediately backing up to the ring edge, going <gasps> for the. Did he just get like a ring out? Oh, I thought he got like some sort of like crazy cool ring out off of that punish, and you're dead. You have become dead, sir. <sighs> man, oh man. It's just so difficult, right? And it really seems like Lolo feels more cavalier. With, um, I forget what that launcher is. I think it's like Full Crouch 1B or something like that. Or maybe it's just Wall Rising B. Yeah. Wall Rising um, B. Wall Rising B. Uh, he feels more cavalier with it. Yeah, the, la the launcher that rung him out, and it's also the same launcher that Incendia tried to CE punish before, and it didn't yeah. work out. So he feels like, oh, time. okay, this person isn't aware what kind of punish they potentially get. Okay, this is a. Considering what's been happening, I am, like, very in favor of this character switch. Yeah, the problem is, I uh, couldn't have gotten a worse stage for it, I don't think. I I, I think even still, like, I I think it's even, if, if Lolo chooses to back up like that, it, like, like, the fact that Lolo could just back up anytime Incendiate spends meter is not fun. Yeah, this, that does suck. This, it won't, at least that won't be happening anymore. You get your meter burn back, that's important. 
else He's... I want to mention. I was talking to Incendi before this set, and he definitely said, I just really hope that we get to stick with Yoshi and Changhua throughout the whole thing. So, uh, Jordan, if you listen to this back, you are a liar. Uh, good, it's still a good switch. It's a good switch, but I also want to mention he's a liar. Okay, well, yeah. We do that. Is he going to get a 2A? He's going to get a 1A. Clearly seems like low level. Nice R.I. Right. Yeah, it's trying to make this so difficult to get. Oh, I think that's it. In the wall. He yeah. gets it. The wall hits are so good for Yoshi. The, just the ability to utilize a small amount of meter in on an I-10 is so crazy on walls like this. There. Probably he was trying to do that. Nice duck on the CS. Oh, oh tried to do it to man CS and got spun. <laughs> But I, mean, I love like, Yoshi Mitsu. This, this is going well for Incendiate. It's unfortunate the, the way the last round ended at the very end, but that's kind of the only part that I feel like he was totally out of control. Maybe now here as well. A little bit frustrated. He wants the CS. <laughs> Jumps over the 6-6-A. Was that a whiff punish? That was crazy. AA on whiff into jump kick is fast enough to whiff punish 6-A holders. It's really zero. bad if you're in that gap. Yeah. I don't remember the frames, but it's really bad. Decides to respect the CE. Can get caught. It's gonna get caught here. Well, I feel like an Ivy Lick might have been better, but maybe not. Yeah, it was in the air. It's an awkward hit. Yeah. Just keeps doing the spinny thing. That's a wall Huge combo. Amount of damage here. This is Man. what we were talking about before with the wall combo, with the. Yeah, that wasn't even like the full hit. brunt of the power either. No just frames from either player. Their execution pretty shoddy right now. Might be an indication of just the connection. Alright. Oh, There's here we go. To actually land. Practically like a first one attempted. The other ones have just been kind of flubs. It, Lolo ducked wow. a bunch of them. That 2 2 B hitbox was the size of the Don't earth. Miss. Such a scary series of moves. Does not get his punish. Got Insania has a huge amount of meter. Can't necessarily spend, try 1A all that often anymore. Yoshi does have a CE that could, well, okay, did have a CE that could have punished it. Again with the sweet nice. kick. That'll do it. That should kill. Yeah. Okay. Basically fully on par now. Everybody has a lot of meter. No real guard damage to speak of. Oh, I don't like the. He got like a 2B whiff and immediately bursted. That's kind of a big deal. Now you're up against the wall. Tried it, doesn't get the mix. That's a big combo. Nope. Dropped out of the wall, goes for the reset with the unblockable. Not dead yet. He doesn't even technically have He's out of meter. And soul charge. Yeah. Wow. That entire thing from second one, literally only one second transpired that match. We were at 59 seconds. But uh, yeah, 2B out of nowhere at the beginning of the round was enough of a whiff that it scared Incendiate to. Activate Soul Charge, Ivy Soul Charge Burst, I think basically the smallest one in the cast, and everything just went south right afterwards. Oh, it's a shame that we only saw Ivy, like, for one game. I feel like that wasn't necessarily indicative of what the rest of the game was going to be like. That's but... what I was going to say. You, you play, play Ivy again, you roll the stage again, you give him a chance to back up to the ring edge, you Ivy loop him out once. He doesn't try that again for the rest of the set. Yeah, Switching maybe back he to just Shang felt... now. Yeah, but maybe you just felt early... like uh, CS was just not... It was what he wanted to do, and it just wasn't working out as well, so yeah. th that's my guess. And then he kept trying to put it in places that it didn't yeah. quite fit. They were telegraphed, and Lolo was ducking them. Like, I... They, 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 there was one that I would have ducked. Oh, nice. Oh, man, shark attack over the 6A. He was... Oh, Lolo's feeling oh! himself. Hogo behind! Nice GI! 4P after that GI. That was kind of crazy. It was a bit oh, of a man, such a fantastic series. punish. Incendiate is not used to somebody who's going to be punishing tip range 3Bs consistently. That is not something that most characters can do. I didn't even know that, like, Yoshi could do that. He's probably, like, him and Raphael are, like, the only two characters who can do that. Yeah, and it's... It, Lolo's also getting a lot of... Well, I mean, there he's ducking into the 3B a couple of times, but it's making him less likely to apply it as a mix-up. The 3B with the, uh, what is it, the full crouch 3A or something? You can get out of the thing. crouch grab there?! I thought that the crouch grab was guaranteed from shang there! Oh, wow! Sorry, I just- I didn't know that! That blew my- I was like, Oh, okay, he's finally gonna get that little piece oh! Yeah, I'm sure he wanted that. I'm sure he wanted that. Yeah, you just died. 
Nice like crybaby cry interrupt. That's punishable, the like, the bar. I like 12, yes. yeah. Yes, it is. I appreciate the fact that, like, it it's quote-unquote a bit of overkill. The only other way that he could have punished that is with an AA, which definitely wasn't going to kill. I appreciate spending the bar and not being greedy about it. Yeah, that's an extremely patient play from a young player to sit in the corner, to hold that, and then to, to spend the bar rather than to just mash out of there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to try and take a risk against Lulu, especially with his success rating so far in the set. I mean, where, where he's landing buttons is just um, either 3B or just finishing the string trouble. quickly. Just nothing tricky, nothing that. See? Finishing the string quickly. There's a 2-2-B from Incendiate. Honestly, I feel... Yeah, it's, it's like, how does Incendiate beat either... Oh! Okay, very good job. I was about to say, how does he beat the reverse ring out pressure and or the soul charge? I think out of these two players, uh, Lolo has gotten so much more mileage out of his meter, out of his soul charge, uh, than Incendiate has. And the reverse ring outs are scary no matter how many times he hits Lolo in neutral. So it's like, it seems so difficult for Incendiate to keep up. Like, he gets all these small hits here and there, but then he's just not able to keep it up the whole way. Like, I don't think that's going to be a ring out. And so now you're still in reverse ring out territory. It's still nice very scary. Walking, that's plus. Oh, nice that would've been a C, dude. That would've yeah. been it. Oh no, here we go. You're gonna have to spend soul charge back. No, you're not. Oh, I would hear. I would hear. It's free. It's free. Uh, oh. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, Shanghua's soul charge probably considered one of, if not the absolute weakest ones in the cast, but still feel like it would have been a solid bet to try and find a place to do it somewhere. Yeah. Now you have to I, worry about this ring out pressure yet again. I am of the Lolo's opinion that if you time. have two bars and you're gonna get a third one, you just spend it. You're getting it back. Lolo keeps going for a reverse ring out. He attempted it like four times in a row there. That's why you saw him yeah. literally oh, back with the, the whole screen. Hey, what's the Oki gonna be? I think it's gonna be a delayed mid. So I think roll back is the way to go. What do you think? I think he's gonna jump up and down and then taunt and then 3B. I was we were both dead wrong. You're completely <laughs> wrong. All right, but still, Yoshi can't throw out a high. Can't oh, throw interrupting! Oh, boy, oh boy, so man, most players when they deal with Zhanghua, where it's like, all right, I'm in yellow life, I'm against Zhanghua. This means I can't reasonably do a grab. I can't do an unsafe mid. I can't do a high. I can't really do a low. I can't whiff ever. I'm scared, and I'm going to try and figure this out. Lolo's like, well, what if I just shove my foot in his face? Like, over and over again. What if, what what happens if that happens? But he's stepping it. Incendiate is stepping it, and I feel like he remembered what 2-2-B is, and that was a big difference in this in that game versus the other ones. This is You, you had pointed out before, we weren't seeing much 2-2-B. I think every 2-2-B except for one landed in that, in that set. <laughs> yeah. So Maybe he just remembered to 2-2-B. Alright, effectively we're back on the desert stage again, except now it's flowing with life-giving water. This is still actually classified as a desert. Is that right? Yeah. It has to do with the amount of rainfall. You never see it raining here! Sure, I would imagine that most of this would have to do with rainfall at some point, unless this is in the sea. Now they import all this water. Oh, that makes sense. Interrupts with BB! so much meter on Lolo's side, not to mention the round. Okay, I guess that's not a punish on all ranges. Foot and face. This Again, the piece of momentum the that we see from Incendiate this entire match. Nice, was 100% looking for it. That puts Xianghua at minus two. Most I-10 players are going to match their I-10 in that spot. <laughs> Got his tech, got his tech trap, and didn't expect it. Incendiate th is fuming because of that one. Yeah. <laughs> was it one A? That's hilarious. I didn't one, super four, see what happened, but it was just like straight up neutral. Incendiate was just like delaying his mix, and then Lil was like two one four A. And then he just did it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Like apropos of literally nothing. Nice punish out of the ring. Out of yep. the ring. Okay, it's just it just. How does Incendiate keep up with the reverse ring out attempts? Just statistically, one of them is going to hit eventually. By keeping the ring edge to your side, I guess. That's yeah, a I lethal hit if that lands. Incendiate oh, full meter. Ooh, the tech jump. Now we're in reverse ring out territory. Not getting his minus 10 punish, but is getting his whiff punish. 
going for the ring out himself is how he's trying to... Nice duck, that's wow, probably fantastic. not out, he didn't have the meter! Soul charging okay, here. Nice soul charge. Makes sense to me, honestly. Nice sidestep, and I probably death. Oh! Except it's not because it was this weird air hit, even though that's kind of how the combo has supposed to be. But it was like a weird angle, too. Yeah. GI GI from what Lolo preparation? interrupting from Incendiate. Low kick. Okay. It's Lolo just like, nah, right I'm out of here. Yeah, but Lolo doesn't have the meter for the reverse ring, so it's honestly not that he's scary. still out of here, though. He still yeah, wants to go over there, there and figure out what yeah. to do. See, that's the thing, is that, like, Incendiate wasn't giving him enough room to try and build meter, and he just didn't have any resources to actually- Wow, did you, like, grab him out of full crash 3k? That was kind of crazy. Yeah. Side throw, looked like. Okay, about half-life already, no? Nope. Okay, well, I ended up getting, like, a minus 10 punish, at least. Lolo jump kick, Lolo sweep kick. Spinny. Crusher. And Very plus. Is that out? That's out. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> like, the, the, the ring out opportunities that are being provided to Lolo. I mean, it's Yoshi, right? Like, there's, it's kind of inevitable at some point, but just, like, how do you deal with it for a first to ten? Like, on stages that like that, would have been another, it's crazy. That would have been another good place to soul charge for, for, for Incendiate. Yeah, that's the problem with, uh, with Shanghua meter. This is why, like, I respect Shanghua super, obviously. And I feel like people, to be honest, kind of overrate it in the sense of you want to use it when it's going to kill. You don't want to use it, or at least when you're, like, dead to the Oki or something like that. So a situation that we were in just then, when Lolo still had, like, a middle amount of life, because the soul charge is relatively weaker, Shanghua players are going to be greedier with their meter, and you're not necessarily going to be able to burst out of pressure like that as often. So, like, there there are stipulations about Shanghua meters, is my idea there. Reversal edge, nice twirl. With the low kick, parry. Parry again, lethal hits. Bound to happen at some point. Huge amount of that damage. That was Yomi and... level four or five. <gasps> oh no, he's out! No, he's not! Yeah, he is! No, he's not! Cry baby! Oh, the grab doesn't work. Shang has got to see. Oh, oh it no! He tried to oh, punish too early. Oh, oh. oh, if he just CE punish instead. So this is the problem. I think maybe because Work. the connection isn't strong enough. Insane yeah. isn't going for whip punishes with CE all that often. And uh, it's either that or he's being greedy with his meter. I and stopped. honestly, it's killing him. He's going Great for things to even slowly. Ugh. Harry's cannot <laughs> follow it up You're and dead, that's out dude. of the ring. Uh, oh, I don't know enough about Shanghua to know if that's like lag or if that's like I think legit the frames. frames on that uh, RGI are variable depending on the move it parries. So sometimes it'll okay. be like 3B, sometimes not. Correct me if I'm okay. wrong, but I think that's how it works. That are looked we like it was well you? behind. Like that looked like he didn't have anywhere near enough frames for that. Yeah, perhaps he just doesn't have the time, like, Insaniate himself does not have the time to confirm exactly what he auto-GI'd, and just goes for the 3B just in general. Lots of bar for both players, but in the exact same situation, in the exact same stage we were on before, so I imagine Insaniate can't make this comeback, it's just like, the numbers game, like, how do you stop the ring from happening for three full rounds in a spot like this? You're not gonna get rang out from here. So he can play from well, here now, but now again, he has to pretty much soul charge oh, nice before G that happens. Nice GI bait. Wait, GI I isn't even a good idea there. would have knocked him out of the sky there. Soul charge would have not knocked him out of the sky. So then he would have probably just gotten killed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that, that that's one of the hardest things about this uh, Yoshi soul attack in that spot, is that um, at least Shanghua soul charge, like an average amount of burst radius, uh, will not knock out Yoshimitsu from that Super Dragonfly position. Okay, going with Garo. We're definitely on a on a treasure hunt right now. This is the what else can I try uh, part of the... We've seen set. more stages from Incendiate than we've seen stages in Soul Calibur 6 in this set. We've seen this stage a few times. Or this stage and just basically desert. versions of the desert stage. 2B... Okay, I mean, it's just like, the whip punishes just aren't there, dude. Like, yeah. that's really killing him, right? And Lolo is whipping the boot kick a lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's whipping a bunch of times. 
Dawn's definitely grow. providing those opportunities, and uh, Zinnia just not getting anything up. out of it. Okay. Already a full bar on Lolo's side. If he gets the correct wall position, which he's kind of in now, he could potentially kill off of this amount of meter. There we go. There's a pretty good punish. Yeah, that's going to be relatively hard. Well, now Lolo you're almost lighting dead. Himself up for the wall. Now he doesn't even need the wall. Nine that's... seconds on the clock. So much meter on Lolo's side, he just keeps taking more. And that's honestly really yeah, killer no here. Cap, but that's the round. Like, no time to catch up. the fact that, like, the meter is constantly getting stolen from Incendium is a huge deal, more so than it was before, because this is Geralt, and no meter Geralt is maybe the least damaging character in the game. Yeah. And like, even, like, in that situation, PB, ugh. even if uh, Incendiate had the life lead, Lola would have the meter to stop the clock. Yeah. Oh, wow, That's good the bait. The it gets stopped. Lolo knows to not get hit by Geralt Dead Trap, so he immediately texts to the side. Makes sense to me. No punish on the 3A. Respecting the 3A, or whatever that big horizontal Geralt has is. Yeah, 3A. Bees him out of the Dragonfly. He's, he's, he's playing very uh, solid Geralt by doing AA and BB <laughs> yep. and This is the way to go. And grab. And running out the clock and... Uh, oh, so scary. Both players eight seconds one on hit. the clock. Light with punish. Hey, really close, out. Oh, man. The Lolo edging it out still. Favor. Yeah. Oh, man, oh man. Now you have double bar, and you kind of feel like you have to spend it, or else you're gonna deal with like the double bar lethal hits. Not getting his whiff punishes. It is so killer. That is going to be the tail of the tape for this set if it continues this way. And Lolo again has the me not anymore, but he got the meter lead again after a little bit of the round, just because of how much meter uh, Incendiate spent to do that, and now okay. he's just steamrolling with the Soul Charge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone's, and then he eventually has to deal with, like, Lolo and Soul Charge, and it just completely melts his entire health bar, like, jeez louise, I, honestly, I don't think that the character matters anymore. If you can't get the whiff punishes in these spots, that definitely seems to be the weakness one could exploit against Lolo at this point. I would time. go back to Ivy, which, yeah, he's going back to Ivy. I would hope for a better stage, which, Snake Pit, better stage. I would try to play a different game than the game that you're forced to play with Shanghua and Geralt. I would try to control space. I mean, I, Yoshi is not a character that you necessarily want to force towards you, but... Yeah, you definitely can't scrap with the character, but maybe because you can preemptively throw out moves like this. So, like, trying to reaction with punish is just not something that Incendia can do right now, right? So, now with a character like this, you can preemptively throw out moves that are very high damaging if they hit, and you can potentially try to do it. The problem is that Lola was very good at fitting in that very pocket. Nice. Wow, look yeah, at that. Fantastic stuff. Excellent. Right through the gap, and then knows exactly how to punish the RE. Yeah, the 6-6-A pocket is something that uh, you obviously want to try and fill out any time that you play against Ivy. It's yeah. really impressive how often Lolo's able to do it. I don't even think that uh, like Yoshi's walk speed is really all that impressive. Uh, backstep is pretty impressive, but like it's not like Talon or 2B where you could just like you're across the screen and then rawr, you're just immediately in the pocket where Ivy can't react to it. Like and Lolo is still able to pull it off all the time. Lolo trying to bait out a little bit. He's oh. mixing it up now with the with the boot kick, and then he's trying to catch. I think with by covering it with three A. Oh, nice, nice block on the one A. This is all Lolo right now. Excellent. Yeah, getting breaks on CS too. Oh no! <laughs> double oh, oh, double no. Nice punch. Uh, I think this is over. Yeah. Twirlies? Twirlies? Alright, you've got a bar Twirlies if you want to use it. It's amazing. Five seconds on the clock. He's gonna nice. have to use the bar. Yeah, sure. Wait, no, this isn't uh, good enough. But this is better kill. Or This isn't going to kill, kill, and the Oki, I don't think, is enough either. If he does like a 1k, that's not enough. No, yeah, that's it's gonna over. run out of time. No, I, I don't know, man. I think I see what he was getting at, but I think he had to do like a soul attack. Because yeah. you just don't have the time. Even if he was correct about the Oki, it wouldn't have been enough. He's also Another trying CS to rely break. on CS, and it's like 100% unsuccessful. Landed the twirly kick on... looks like Pogo. Yeah. That's plus. 
good man. Blocked. Lola's defense right now is impeccable. Fantastic yeah. uh, duck. It's a huge amount of damage here. Ah, minus 10 into GI. Makes sense on Ivy. There we go. That's how you have to do it. We have to do the kinetic clash. You gotta go with the unbreakable grab. That's the only way you're gonna force Lola to duck. Ivy Soul Charge. Doing the square root of dip right now. Just not able to get any sort of whip punish. There's a force field around Lolo. Gets nice a fantastic duck, but no punish. Now you don't even meet her. Like, what are you gonna. Ugh. There is still this amount of respect where they're standing the exact distance away and just walking around. Yeah. Well, and then and then I guess Lolo can go for it. He's in the throw. I think he dropped a CS or something. Yeah, he's gotta spend it. So the question, so potentially Lolo is looking for a CE at the very nice. end here. Okay, doesn't have the CE. Doesn't have the CE bar now. Doesn't GI. And it's a man. Oh man, Lolo is a stone wall right now. How do you get through this? Yeah, the, the, his defense is ridiculous. He, he's a, a I think at this point, right bouncing time. from character to character is not the way to go. You don't have enough games anymore. I mean, What's and a first like attempt, you have enough. To, you have enough games to at least try out. I mean, uh, like, like yeah, we tried. Them. <laughs> make sense. At this point, I would go back to X. Um, and... I think whoever you pick right now has to be who you pick for the rest of the set. Yeah. So I would I would go back to Shanghua. That's who you you wanted to play coming in. I I, I don't think Ivy is working. I don't think I, I, he's too good at stay staying in the gap. He's not able to. He's not able to ac a like adequately manage him at the right spaces, like like the IV um, to keep him from running time. away. Sure, but if he can just approach with Yoshimitsu and then just stay in your face the whole time, like all all Incendiate has is the the two two Ks. The uh... so so okay. Back to Shanghua. Yeah, the problem is is that we always get this stage when it comes to Shanghua. So it's like. And then he'll, like, do pretty well in neutral, and they'll go back and forth, but then might, eventually you'll see Soul Charge, or Reverse Ringo comes you around. You just it's have like, to Soul Charge when you're up and just watch him walk away. Yeah. Like, God, I, I, I've has, had to do that with Doss before. Already. But, like, if you're winning, if you're winning in the middle of the field, and you're losing at the edge of the ring, just don't go to the edge of the ring. Just try that. Nice parry. That does get the 3B. Yeah, that was, like, a 2A that he parried, so makes sense. That's He's out. out, dude! Like, you can't, like, oh my <laughs> god! You can't get away from this. You can't yeah. just, like, stop playing on, like, 60% More focus of the stage. on just staying in the middle. More octagon control. Yeah, and that's how Lolo has, like, a bar and a half. Ugh. Make that over a bar and a half. The grab doesn't, man. It's like the game is going specifically against Incendiate right now. Sidestep gets the grab punish. 2-2-B again, using more 2-2-B. Doesn't block the sweep kick. Spin, 6-6-A. Again, Lolo now checking those kicks. Trying to slow it down. I appreciate what Incendiate's trying to do here. Just really trying to, like, slow it down. But it's just, like, there is so much of the stage and so many other different resources that Lolo just has in spades. That, like you've uh, tried Sean everything else, up. so it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. It's an interesting choice to go for a soul charge. Uh, is that it? No. No, I, I, I hope not, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice roll. No grab. You could definitely bring this back. He's dead to a CE now. Might have uh, to nope. soul charge. Loses the round. Because, again, if you don't it. have the life lead, there's four seconds on the clock. Two bars Sweet yet kick. again. Has to be worried about the BBB lethal hit. Technically 2 2 as well, but you know. Just n getting nothing out of these whiff punishes is killing Incendiate. It's an auto GI. Still nice lots of meter at, at hand. Lolo honestly has kind of just the same amount of meter in terms of value. Oh, there's a jump kick! All right. Out of the ring? No, no, no it stays it. on the ground for this, but no, oh, he's still dead. Yeah. <laughs> not real. He's just dead to damage, and I think that puts Lolo at nine. I think that puts it's him on the, the next win. It's gonna take it for him. Boy, oh boy.
So what were the two? I mean, at this point, I'd be trying to think about, like, what were the two? What did I do to win two? I think it was... Shanghua. It's been so long You have long to stay now. Shanghua, I think, at this <laughs> it point. It seems so long ago. No, yeah, you definitely have to keep a Shanghua. Watch it go as, like, 2B. That'd be pretty dope. Just 2B, again, would be the complete opposite of everything else. Quiet. Punishment time. Ivy, uh, okay. okay. I mean, I don't know, man. Now you have to win every single game. <laughs> it's just never... We've only seen effectively two stages. It just really seems like all the works and so, forces so of the I'm, universe I'm are say against it just for fun. I'm gonna say it just for fun. This is an argument for Smash-style stage picks. Yeah. For for, for bans and strikes and, and all that fun stuff. I don't think we have enough stages for that. I don't think we have enough time for that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, fantastic punch. pickup. It's a huge amount of meter that you get out of that too. Ducks into the flip kick. Nice, nice whip That's punish good. again. Uh -huh. Goes for the it's over. Yeah, you gotta tech that. You gotta tech it so much quicker than you would expect. Ah, and that's Lolo a shame. Electing to take the meter. Yeah, that was that was honestly really smart, and it really sucks that Incendi uh, was for like he was trying to go for the whiff, but just like and that if little it bit of a work, swing. Ooh, no whiff punish on the sweep kick. If it doesn't work, you've got seven more games. Tiger. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Flippies. Fantastic! One of the first times we've actually seen a block out of the Soul Shards. It's a shame. I think he thought he was out of range for that. Yeah. Once again, still doesn't have bar, and I think it's going to get stolen from him again. No, okay, he does have bar now. Fantastic side step. Gets a huge punish. Got all the just frames. That's half life, dude. Did he just sidestep from stance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, Ivy can do that. The uh, the side step is honestly not bad at all. It was fake. Boy, yeah. Why would you GI that? You can just punish it. <laughs> Seemed like an odd choice, but okay, here we go. Worked. Ah, goes for the command grab of all things. Into the unbreakable grab. Right okay, we're building a rhythm. We just have to keep it up for about 80 more rounds. Well, this without will give, ever I mean, throwing it out. Oh, under the CS. This will give Incendiate some momentum. We've seen Incendiate step. with momentum in the past. He was able to turn it into a 6 0. Well, this in would have Evo to be an 8 0. Finals. Yeah. A tornado of 8 0s. With punish with the kick. Well, oh, with the, the kick. break I, attack. Yeah. Into tech trap, she was. Got it. Stompies. Okay. Everything flashed for a second. <laughs> it was hard to follow. Six, yeah, that break attack on the C on, on the uh, wasn't confident the whip punish deal. with the early stuff going above him. Nice. Yeah. Command sidestep. So Solo is so that. good with that. Yeah, Yoshi has so many re safe options because of the teleport. It's kind of crazy. And again, so many different spots where just the two hit strings. The second part of it is just making Incendiate unable to pull off any of the reasonable whip punishes that he's hoping he for. Can't even again, get away from him. He tried to backstep, got kicked in the face. Yeah. Okay, full meter for both players here. Decides to immediately soul charge. and now it's on now oh, Lolo no. on set point. Or oh, he thought he was gonna get the wall. I think Incendiate has a spin bar pretty quickly, but he ends up getting the tech trap. Trying to catch that side step. Yes, immediately soul charge makes sense to me. No soul charge on Lolo. Though. Gets some sort of punish at least. Air controlled though. Sidestepping the toe loop. Honestly, it's okay if you don't really get any more momentum out of that bar because you have another one. And uh, that I don't is think it. that I is that think... just enough. Nope, just not enough. He didn't. Spin. No, he got a lethal hit now. Okay, how do you get out of this? Doesn't get the full bar. That he should has be the bar. it. Okay. Yep. Oh my god. Because he can, I, unless that's the the, the multi spin, he can uh, just kind of rising kick it. He did it before. Man, oh man. Welcome to the stage of history. That was very terrifying. And now so he has was, to do it I mean, how many more times? Seven more times? It, it, it sort of shows what you were talking about before when, when Incendiate has the meter advantage at the end, can use it along with the... Um, I don't know what the move is, but it, it's the one move where Ivy spins all the way around and then follows with the Whiplash. Um... It's it's, two, two it's, it's again. It's kind of like Geralt 3A. It's just a big like it's like a mid horizontal, medium spin. Non committal, yeah. 
Yeah, non-committal with a follow-up that's the same. Damage. Yeah. So Seems you can like... pretty much just do that. And Lolo is is relying on a lot of movement and a lot of um well that I guess. Yeah, these A plus speeds are clearly not what Lolo yeah. wants. I'm getting the impression that the way Incendi is trying to pull this off is by just take taking bets on which verticals are going to work. Stuff like this. Because when he's right, the amount of meter he gets, the amount of life that he gets is very very important. And he gets the and he gets a spacing reset too, which he wants with this character. Wow, off of that whiff, that was insane. Oh, it's very scary. And very scary. Nice yeah, the warnings are a bit up. easy to see. Dark jump. Kind of keeping up with uh, Yoshi in terms of the meter. The foot's not long enough. You heard it's it here first. Kind of Alright, counter, counter hit. Yeah, Incendia is just like swinging. And the fact of the matter is, if both of these characters throw out individual hits, uh, Ivy's gonna win. Yeah, that's, that's the that's, idea here. That's kind of the plan with Ivy, is you swing, and at the very least, you force him back out. This is but a big damage by the wall, goes for the reset, does not get it. I can see not spending bar here. Wow, that backswing was enough? That was crazy. Ooh, catches the duck! Nope, he ended up committing. This is one of the hardest things about playing Ivy, is that, like... Even on this incredible Oki where the opponent is knocked down, you are still taking a bet kind of for your life. But he definitely has like a lot of meter. Doesn't really get a fantastic punish on the 2-2 two -two way, so we're going to get a BBB lethal hit instead. Yeah. And that's, that's again, part of why people will spend meter against Yoshi is to avoid yeah. that lethal hit. <laughs> oh. Okay. What a choice. Right in the brain. Yeah, 3k hold. Goes for the CS God, again. He's breaking every single one, dude. Well, with the he block gets again, it again. The, on the other brain. Again oh, goes for the CS. They're not landing. And Lolo goes for the <laughs> super and it doesn't I work. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. I respect the attempt. Because of course you would want to end on something like, imagine, like that. Right? Imagine the reverse 7 0 on you went for a Seppuku. Well. I mean, like, you you obviously want to end no the setup. punish like on that, the right? sweep kick from Incendiate, and then Lolo gets his own punish on the sweep kick. I had to spend the bar. Kick. I think he's out of... Oh, okay, I was going to say he was out of burst, but I guess I was wrong. No, nope. ah, now you're going to need a lot of damage. Uh, very questionable 6-6-A that's going to lead to a lot of damage for Lolo. Ooh, just enough meter in order to get that full hit there. Nice Tried jump kick over the there. throw attempt. <laughs> Got him with the CS, that'll probably Yeah, that's kill. bad. But boy, oh boy, that, I mean, yeah, I know that CS range is, like, the second longest grab range in the game, but that was insane. Got outs to grab. Blurs. Oh, oh man, he, he, he wasn't reason. sure. He tried to, like, get back up and then do it. He was like, no, wait. He I got CS before. out of that. He keeps he getting CS get... out of that, so he doesn't know when to. Yeah. He wants oh, to man, he had to spend bar to get out of here. This is really rough, so Lolo's gonna Again, lame out this bar. Play. Oh, okay. Is that out? No, no it's not no, out. Sport. This isn't season one anymore. I but mean, now... this is the interaction he's been hoping for that yeah. we've been talking about when he just tries to back up. Now he has his meter back. But, like, uh, okay, how are we gonna deal with Lolo with two bars? This is really tough. He's gonna have to be go 100%. Out of the ring here. Uh. Well, he oh, does that he that get maybe. something? He got it. That should be dead. If he gets his full combo, and yeah, he doesn't even need a full combo. Okay. God, these are such scrappy, dappy do <laughs> areas scrappy, of the end dappy of the game. Scrappy, dappy do. Yeah, dude. Welcome to the Shoutouts to multiverses. I mean, he was from a, a previous work before multiverses. Yeah, but come see my Shaggy. I, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> oh my god, we're seeing a different stage in this video game. It has more than four. Which one? I can't even tell which one. This is the... This is Setsuka, Setsuka Shrine? stage at night. Setsuka Shrine. Yeah. Okay, but this is pretty narrow, which means that uh, Lolo might get more ring-out opportunities, but honestly, now he's going to have, like, ring-out opportunities against Ivy instead of X, which I think Incendiate wants more. Gets another fantastic wall rising B-punish. This is so much damage and meter. This Push has got to be the first time that we've actually seen the low grab actually work. This could be a wall combo. No, goes for the reset or... 
I mean, Lolo rolling forward a lot to get out of a lot of these. Tokens. Yeah, it makes sense. I think that's typically the default when you're playing against Ivy, you know? Yeah. Basically has one option that legitimately punishes you. Uh, try and... Ah, he gets to do it every time, dude. He gets to do it every time. Well, his options are basically... The, his his flowchart's been basically back up to the... In that situation, you either back up to the ring edge or you just take the bar advantage. Smart. Yeah, the bar advantage, I, def I mean, it, it's huge. So I definitely think that's the way to go. It's just unfortunate that Incendiate can't seem to get a poke out in time to stop him. Oh no, this wall pressure is probably going to kill. Wow, cancels oh, helicopter. Man. All of those weird, awkward spots that allowed Incendiate to get I out of there all completely gone away dead. because I think he was under the impression... Dead. Yeah, he's dead. dead. Uh, I think Incendiate was under the impression that Lola was out of soul charge. He literally had a pixel worth left. Yeah. Okay, going back to the back of the stage. Teleporting yeah, across another task to punish. This is the killer. This is, uh, in case you guys don't know, you have to tech that to the side. The problem is that, like, with the weird way that the buffering system is, like, you have to have been teching it when you got hit by the first attack. Like, it, right now, right now, right now. You, have you are to be, familiar like, with the Sandman Earth Divide setup for Sigfried. Sure. It's the same concept. Yes. There's a handful that are like that. The buffering system is You've got to be teching it way ahead of time or you're going to eat it. Alright, he gets the full combo, and that's gonna be a death. So, I mean, Incendiate's coming up with something. This is some semblance of a comeback. How many does he have? Four? Uh, yeah, 9-4. Yeah. If he wins this round, it's five. Lolo. Positioning. He's, he's, he's leaving the back of the stage as an option. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they're Good doing some pretty wackadoo Lolo. stuff, and Sandy is kind of building around CS again, which I don't think is the correct move, considering the success that Lolo and has had. he is less break. afraid to soul charge. Yeah. So he's just using the meter there, Lolo backing up to the edge, but Lolo is more afraid because a toe loop puts him out. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that, and also, like, Incendi is able to pressure Yoshimitsu with Ivy a lot better in a spot like that than with shang -Hua, right? Because you can just run up and... You can still pressure him without being in ring-out trouble. Ice punish. See what I mean? Like, that whole area where Lola started backing up to the ring edge was a completely different dichotomy than what we saw with X versus Yoshi. That's exactly what Incendi wanted to have happen. That's why I'm sure he was pulling his hair out. He was pulling pencils out of his hair because of the stage selections that were going on when he switched from X to Ivy and back. Looks like trouble. They've rolled the stage every game. Yeah. Yeah, they rolled the stage every game, but every time he went to Ivy, he got a small box with no ringouts. Every time he went to X, he got the exact opposite. Right. And it was Incendiate picking the stage, as in he's the one selecting random. So it was definitely the fates going against him. But that's 10 to 5, so we're seeing a bit of a comeback here. He still has a mile's worth of work to do, but technically speaking, he has less work than he needed to do during the beginning of EVO Grand Finals, and that is a message. That is a statement right now. You are not breaking CS anymore. That said, he's down 9-5, so... I mean, he, he you know, he got 6-0 in, in EVO Grand Finals. Yeah, landing another CS. Suddenly, the, 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 the tides have turned. Duck <laughs> Getting a little bit too CS happy. Lolo gets Honestly, the it's, it's still it, conditioning, though. though, and I think that's the thing, is that there's a certain level, especially with the way that he's moving, all like he a jerk, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. This is when Incendi is really good. feeling himself, and it can potentially change how Lolo plays. See, he's super he's hesitant hard. now. Look how little Lolo's doing. He's just kind of like watching Incendi do stuff. Nice backstab. Bad, yeah. Kick. Lolo's getting cold. He's he's getting frigid and, and not moving around as much. He's not so, getting so in that here's a question. Yeah. Here's a question. If you're I'm losing to a questions. range if you're losing to a ranged character and the other the other guy's been switching, oh. do you switch? Do you go I on? I'd be perfectly fine seeing Lolo switch. He's got a variety of different characters I've seen him play. You only gotta I just win, don't win one game hard. with Astaroth out of what? Four if he loses this one. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about the potential. So, like, I was actually kind of joking with Jordan. Wouldn't it be funny if we saw, like, oh, Astaroth was... uh, come out for Lolo and then you, like, switch to 2B or something? But he can't switch Easy. anymore. He has to win the entire thing with uh, with Ivy. Fantastic punish, except it's not actually good at all. Okay, a lot of spaghetti ended up giving Lolo the round, except it's not it yet. Nice block and immediate full crouch 3k like a jerk. Okay. He's trying to he can full crouch 3k under the uh, CS attempts. Yeah. 
I'm just surprised he had the frames after the low as well. Yeah, it moves him forward too, which is... Yeah. Oh, wow, teleport so much meter, I think he... I think you should spend it. I think you should spend bar. Yep. Spending the bar. Well, again, it's free. If he loses the round, he gets it back. It's also just like, Ivy is also a lot better at building meter than Sean Wise, so there's like that too. My dick. He constantly catches him with that 2-2-A two, two, plus B, and that's gonna be death. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, doesn't even doesn't even try to buffer the 6 6 BB just in case online tries to screw him again. These matches are getting fast in the other direction. Yeah. Is he really gonna pull this off and make this set go as long as possible? Well, again, if if I mean maybe last game was the one to do it if you're gonna switch, but if you if if you want a character that can play a little bit better at mid range. I would think Astaroth wouldn't be a bad idea if you want a character yeah. that can go toe to toe with the grappler that is Ivy. But I mean, if you're feeling if you're feeling Yoshi, if you want to stick with Yoshi, if you don't want to switch up your momentum, that makes sense. But here's another CS. What momentum? The momentum is gone. You remember those days when we were thinking that Lola was going to make this as one sided as humanly possible? Oh, nice it's swirl! So long ago. Sweep kick oh. and a cancel and a sweep kick, and now it's. Incendiate backing up to the edge. <laughs> they, they, they're, both, they're both really trying to screw yeah. it up, but honestly, I think Ivy loses that situation hands down. That the jump is, kick is too good, right? There was no reason, yeah. Like, he was trying to get, like, a full crouch 1k, but honestly, even if you get that, it's not going to give you the full hit, because you're going to hit him out of the jump kick. You're not going to get yeah. the reverse ring out. Yeah, it's, I, I, I don't think you needed to go for that. I think Lolo think was trying to say that. Figured something out, maybe? Nice duck, duck. But does not get the punish. He's right. trying to play it super lame. He's trying to play it super duper lame. It makes sense to me. Yeah, he's just he's just owning the center of the octagon. But I he's not swear. getting that pocket on the 6-6-A anymore, and that can potentially be killer. Oh, oh no. And CS. also importantly, he's not breaking CS anymore. That's a huge deal. That looked like a that looked like a counter hit CS. That yeah. looked like he wasn't expecting it at all. He's like baiting the CS too, but again, Incendiate's kind of feeling himself. It's a little bit so much. Eight seconds on the clock. Oh, he got the life lead. He got There's the RI. Not is there enough the time? GI. Oh wow, he got the GI. That's crazy. Okay, Lolo now one round away from pulling it all back. I would like Zenit to see add a little Lolo bit of a comeback. Two GIs but... in a row and then land the third one <laughs> on the stage. For this is very similar to the stage where that it ended looked, up happening. It's, it's the raft. It's this yeah. guy. We're very close to, like, a void of nothingness. Caught him out of the flippy flips. Trying to stay as far away from that reverse ring out as possible. Well, he can with a 60 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah day absolutely. All day. Trying to teleport in is Lolo, but... Ooh, that's you it. You don't have the life bar, really. So I so, think so the idea good. is Lolo now tries to play the lane game to the point where he can get a teleport, and then instead of trying to do the reverse ring out position, he'll do like the forward ring out position against Ivy. I think that's the way to try and swing it. That's a lot of setup. That's a lot of steps to that. God, the second hit just doesn't allow him to do anything. Nice block, nice block. but no punish. Gets a huge punish on Incendiate side. Does he get the full just frames? That he does. Half life. Obviously, now you're over here. I, just oh, stepped. Oh, oh. I think Lolo oh, was yeah. a little bit late. Uh, it was a little bit of a weird hit. Man, Fakes the trying sword. to be all kinds of weird. That, that might it? be no, it. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. So Lolo ends up taking a ten to six. Every you know, Incendiate was pulling out some stuff, but then I feel like he was getting a little bit flashy in some spots, and it just really w wasn't working out for him. But obviously, you know, the main tale of the tape was the first handful of games were just so heavily in Lolo's favor that uh, he did a very good job there. Yeah, it was it was a lot of uh, stage control, a lot of showing off uh really positioning and and being aware of what really what was going on in the match at the time you know who has the life lead who has the round count who has what meter and then um standing near the edge of the ring and waiting um based on that yeah fantastic stage positioning uh especially from lola but honestly from both players and i think that's something that you don't get to necessarily see in a lot of other fighting games Right, and 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 it's just the the hard adaptations that Lolo made between playing on the smaller stages with the with the ring edges, versus playing in the cages, versus playing in the larger stages, and just 
instant adaptations and instantly uh, instantly changing play style, changing aggression tactics to match the stage and to match the situation. Yeah. Um, very good play from both players, though. Very yeah. good side. Excellent. Um, and Cindy, like, bringing him back a lot of games, right? He was down, like, what, 9-2 at some point? Like, I yeah, think, yeah, I yeah. think yeah. even when he was down 9-2, it went down to the final round um, in the game where Lolo was about to win 10-2, right? And then he just the, able the to The only bring thing I could uh-huh. say is that if you're going to do a switch in a first to 10, maybe, like, it, you know, switching to Ivy for one game, switching back off, it, it might have been better if, if if he did roll it, roll the stage a couple more times with Ivy. The stage definitely killed him uh, in a lot of spots, and I just get the impression yeah. that Incendiate was not able to play either X or Ivy the way that he was hoping he would. It just yeah. didn't pan out. And then, like, for a few games, for a blink of an eye, we were able to see the kind of Ivy that Incendiate wanted to try and play in the first place. It just It just wasn't enough in time. Yeah, um, he wasn't, like you guys said, he wasn't, like, comfortable, I think, and once he yeah. got, like, in his groove, um, you know, he was able to perform really well, but, yeah, that that's the one thing I didn't agree with, uh, was, like, when he switched to Ivy, like, it, I mean, he lost, right, the first game where he switched to Ivy, but, like, it kind of worked, um, I think he accomplished, like, what he wanted to accomplish, it just, like you said, the stage kind of sucked for it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah got sure. hit by, like, an I-10 by a wall or something and died, but he just didn't pick it again, um. But, but he did pick it later, and like he almost brought it back, so props to him. Um, excellent showing by both players today. And yeah, that's going to conclude it for today. Um, I did announce on Twitter that there's going to be three events, um, so we'll tease the next event in a little bit. Uh, it's going to take place next week, and uh, one of the characters involved is a Korean. Um, that, that's all I will say for now. One of the characters. <laughs> yeah, one of the characters involved is a Korean. So there's two Korean characters in Soul Calibur, right? So Astaroth. Yeah, Astaroth and Aswell. Well. Cervantes, Ivy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess there's four. As well. Yeah. As well as well. Yeah. Inferno. Um, if Inferno's Korean, Inferno that means is Nightmare is also Korean, right? But yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be back next week. Um, thanks guys so much for tuning in. Excellent set today. Props to Lolo for showing up and winning. Props to Insinuate for also putting up a good show. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, is there any final things you want to say, my fellow commentators? Wednesday Night Fight's happening in probably a little under an hour, right? Yeah, that's true. Big Papa Chunk. You guys want to see more Soul Calibur stuff? Big yep. Papa Chunk in a little under an hour. Cindy will be competing there as well. So if you like this gameplay sure, and want to see go. more, yeah, just tune in to twitch.tv slash big pop chunk in an hour. I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna get some food. Thanks guys so much for commentating, thanks for spectating, and thanks to Lil and Cindy 8 for playing. I will see you guys next week. Take it easy.